What's up guys, thanks for clicking on the video. Today's video is particularly for beginners. First, I do have to let you guys know about BricksFitness.com where you can find meal plans, online coaching, and merchandise. You can also find my 12 week transformation jumpstart program, which is basically a fitness and nutrition program that teaches you everything you need to know in order to transform your body. All the proceeds from that channel is what allows me to continue to make this free content for you guys. So go to bricksfitness.com. I remember in the beginning of my journey, I used to overcomplicate fitness. There was so many exercises, so many machines. I was intimidated. I did not know what to do. One of the biggest misconceptions that beginners have is that you absolutely need variety in your fitness routine. You do not need variety. You honestly can transform your body using a few exercises. So what I want to do is simplify exercise for the very beginner. Even if you're not super beginner, even if you've been in the gym for a little while and you're intimidated by the process, you're intimidated by trying to figure out what's the right routine, dial it back. Let's keep things simple. I think simplicity is one of the most powerful tools for creating habit, for creating adherence. So this video is going to give you guys four exercises that you can focus on mastering. And even if you don't have a gym membership, these are exercises that you can do at home. Three exercises that I'm going to discuss in this video are going to be the push up, the body weight squat, the hand plank and the bent over row. Before we get any further into the video, just wanted to take a second to clarify my advice. Focus on these four exercises. The goal right now is to master these four exercises. Work on them four to five days a week. Find a way to record your current level. Find out what you can do right now and test it every two weeks or so. Set a clear goal. Focus on these four exercises. Put most of your energy towards improving your nutrition. If you don't have a set of dumbbells at home, that's totally fine. You can use gallons of milk or gallons of water instead. I suggest you getting a set of dumbbells, 15 to 25 pounds, depending on your strength, or you can get a set of resistance bands like the one I have here. And this will allow you to, to do a pulling motion, which will help you strengthen your back. My goal is to make this video super practical, right? So here's the deal. You have four exercises. Again, the push up, the body weight squat, the row and the hand plank. And I know what you're thinking. Okay. I don't know how many of these to do. Here's the goal. You want to master the push-up. Now, it depends on your particular goal. I can't tell you what your goal is, but for me, right? Let's say this is the beginning of my, my fitness journey. I'm overweight. I don't have much experience in the gym. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to master the form, right? So whether we're talking about the push-up or the body weight squat, form is, is my first goal to, to master my form. Uh, and to identify if I have any limitations in my body that will stop me from mastering the form. For instance, let's say we're talking about a body weight squat. All right, so the goal with the body weight squat, and this is not a squat video, this is not an instructional video about the form, but just an, as an example, you wanna make sure you initiate the squat through your hips, keep your chest up and your shoulders back, all right? Down, down. So here, you wanna, you wanna make sure that your glutes get parallel to your knees, or maybe a little bit below, depending on how mobile you are, all right? And then drive back up, pushing through your heels or the outside of your heels, activating your posterior, your glutes and your hamstrings. In the beginning, you may not be able to go all the way down. So if you can only do this, your first goal is to work on your mobility, your groin mobility, your hip mobility. Work on trying to get that squat lower and lower and lower before you start putting numbers to your specific goal, right? Now, for instance, with the, the push-up, your first goal, right, is, is to be able to do a complete push-up with good form and up, right? All right, so let's say you can't do a full push-up yet. Here's where you can start. You can start off by, by doing them on the wall. Here. All right. So once you master that and you want to add a little bit more challenge to it, just simply slide your feet back a little bit further. That'll increase the angle, therefore increasing the challenge of the push-up. 
if you're starting off doing wall push-ups, make the goal to be able to do, let's say, 100 wall push-ups. And then you'll progress over to an incline push-up. So you can use a bench or a window seal or whatever elevated surface that you have access to. And then you, you do it here. So this would be the first progression from the wall. And after you master this, that's when you can move down to the floor. So with push-ups, let's make your very first goal 100 perfect push-ups. You can do that in sets of 10. You can do it in sets of 20. However, and here's the thing, you can modify the goal. I wanna give you guys an example of a goal that you can work towards progressively because that's the key, is to have a baseline. So you wanna start off, measure how many push-ups you can do in five minutes. This is just an example. You can make up your own baseline. You can track your progress any way you choose. But let's say you start off by measuring how many push-ups you can do in five minutes. And then your goal is to gradually increase that number. Or like I said, however you wanna track your progress. So if you wanna use my suggestion, so make your goal to do 100 perfect body weight squats and 100 perfect body weight push-ups. All right, the next exercise I'm gonna talk about is, is the pulling motion. Uh, you can do a, a resistance band row or you can use a dumbbell. If you choose to use a band, this is one way you can do your row. Here, let me turn this way. And just row. Slow and control, row. Or if you have access to dumbbells, All right, here's an example of how you can track your progress with your rows. Count how many you can do in a minute and try to increase that number. Your ultimate goal is completely up to you. Set whatever goal you want. The last exercise I wanna introduce is the hand plank. Let's start here, All right? So let's make your first goal, if you're a super beginner, to be able to hold the hand plank for a minute and a half, 90 seconds, All right? You wanna make sure your body's nice and straight but even if you can't do this at first and you wanna start off by having your butt in the air a little bit, that's totally fine, right? But this is going to strengthen your core, strengthen your shoulders. This is a really good basic exercise to master. And then once you master the hand plank, you can go down to the elbow, which is the progression. Make your goal to hold this for a minute and a half or two minutes. Again, you wanna modify your goals to wherever you are in your journey. These are just suggestions. Let me make this even simpler. Focus on these four exercises. The goal right now is to master these four exercises. Work on them four to five days a week. Find a way to record your current level. Find out what you can do right now and test it every two weeks or so. Set a clear goal. Focus on these four exercises. Put most of your energy towards improving your nutrition. If you can dedicate 20 to 25 minutes per day, maybe four or five days a week, to mastering these, you'll be surprised how quickly your body will change. And here's the thing, keeping it simple will allow you to spend more energy, more mental focus on your nutrition, which is the biggest part of weight loss. So keep it super simple. I promise you this stuff works. Try these four exercises. Make sure you record your baseline information. Make sure that there's some way for you to track your progress. That's super important. Make sure that you stick to it. It's super simple, it's four exercises. Master these four exercises and then you'll be able to move on to other stages of fitness. I hope this video was super helpful to someone. Please hit the thumbs up button. And as always guys, I'm just trying to share the wellness. So get well and get money.